Hello and welcome back everyone to Universe Sandbox 2. Today we're gonna see what happens if we fire a uh, black hole at the speed of light past Earth, but not at Earth. Like, just close enough to give us the, uh, the most scary day in the history of Earth. And it'll still probably do a ridiculous amount of damage, but the question is just how much damage and will it screw up the rest of the solar system? How big of a black hole do we have to use to get good results? These are all fantastic questions I know everyone is asking. Everyone. Literally everyone. Okay. So let's go ahead and start with a black hole with one solar mass. So the same mass as the sun. We're going to fire it to go kind of by Earth. Not at Earth. Like this. Here we go. Hard to see because it's a black hole. You can see it's not going to hit Earth. It's going kind of parallel to Earth. Slow things down a lot because we're going to make it go the speed of light. Which is pretty damn fast. We will miss it in an instant if we don't slow it down a lot. Okay, so now that we're going very, very, very slow, I think we are safe to set the speed to one light speed and here we go earth is just doing its thing we can see its path if we click on it its general path and we will see if it gets affected at all by the black hole passing by here comes the black hole it's getting really darn close to earth with the gravity of the force of the sun you would probably notice this it would be really, really fast. So we're going about 10 milliseconds per second. So that means like... A hundred seconds here would be like one second. But look at that! Within the very slight amount of time, the direction of the Earth has already been permanently altered. Although, Black Hole is moving past it, which is going to pull the direction back Look at that. Look at that. It is getting pulled back kind of normal. Maybe it'll be enough for Earth to not be completely screwed up after this. Um, you would probably feel yourself get like lifted off of your feet for a second as the gravity of the black hole surpasses that of Earth's, but it would go by so quickly. I don't even think it's been like, it's been probably like one second. So you just go like, that, that, that would probably be all you notice, except for like all of these structures around you all also being lifted. Um, your cars, your house might do a little bit of damage. Airplanes just start falling in the other direction temporarily. All very fun, but it's already over. Earth doesn't seem to have taken any damage. Temperature seems to be exactly the same. The motion of the Earth, though... Oh my! Wow! Okay. So the black hole coming so close to Earth has actually sped Earth up to the speed of light. That is going to be a noticeable difference. I don't know what it would be like on the surface, but... It would be pretty... Wait, did I accidentally set the Earth to light speed instead of the black hole? Because that... No. Wow, that is just a really specific... I can't believe it's like exactly one light speed. Okay. So now Earth... It, no, Earth isn't going at the speed of light. It's going way slower. Way slower. Why does it say it's going at the speed of light? I don't believe it. That doesn't seem right. Why is Earth just starting to go into a random direction? <laughs> I'm I'm honestly what the heck? Did we break physics yet again? That path is really broken. Okay. Uh let's just speed things up and see what happens. So Earth is actually moving now in its new direction. It looks like Earth is just literally being flung. It just decided to get out of here. Wow. And yeah, the motion... Oh, no, no. 
it fixed itself. It is not going light speed, but it is going quite, quite quickly in the incorrect direction. And Mars actually has uh, been affected a tiny bit. I think all the orbits have been affected a tiny bit. The sun, the sun gained a meter of speed during that. Earth is now going through the asteroid belt. That would just be bad news. Bad news in general, but we can make it worse. <laughs> We can make it much worse, because what if it passed on the other side and pulled the Earth towards the sun? Yeah. Yeah, this is the one that would be like... I mean, it's already terrible to create, like, the worst earthquake ever known and probably already killed everyone there by having it get so close to Earth, but... We're not done yet. Oh my god, imagine being on the other side of Earth. Then you would just be pulled into the ground for one second, at the force of the <laughs> gravitational pull of the sun. Yeah, that just wouldn't be fun, I'm gonna be honest. You would probably be jello -fied pretty quickly. Now, Jell-O's pretty tasty, but it's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth that. Erin probably would disagree. She would go through immense pain and death for Jell-O. Yes. But I want it. <laughs> Aaron says Jello is beautiful. Okay, so here we go. Setting this black hole to light speed. Let's see what happens. The Jelloification of people is about to begin, but we're gonna miss it if it's going this quickly. So once again, we're just going to slow it down. Do 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 all the way down, all the way down. Lower. I want it lower. Okay. okay, here we go. We can now see the black hole passing by Earth. The jelloification is beginning. Yeah, that would be really painful. Like, maybe it's not as dramatic as I feel like it is, but the force is so great, I feel like that's death right there. If someone wants to break out a notepad and just do, like, basic back-of-the-envelope calculations of the forces that are exerted, it's a short time. So that would be the one saving grace, is that the period in which that force is being exerted is really, really short. Oh, wow. Yeah, having it on the other side changed things up significantly. Um, now we're just orbiting much closer maybe not even crashing into the Sun okay yeah earth instantly is now going to get in between mercury and Venus for half of its orbit so basically instant climate change um, yeah the first time we go around the average surface temperature jumps to 35 uh, the hottest is at like 56 C. That's pretty bad. Turning that to Fahrenheit for you American folks. Yeah, still pretty bad. We're in the hundreds and now we're going further away than we did before though. So all of a sudden now we're having the worst winter ever recorded. Average temperatures are just absolutely dropping the entire planet, parts of it going down to negative 30 degrees. In the average, the hottest is now at like zero. Now it's heating up again. It's getting close to the sun for a second time. And it had enough time to get up to only 20. Wow, Earth's not gonna melt, it's gonna freeze. That's almost way worse. Oh, damn. Humanity would honestly have to move into like they'd have to dig massive holes and try to find a way to get Heat from the center of the earth because I don't see any other way With average temperature hitting negative 20 oh And it just keeps getting worse That that's the part that's shocking. I thought it would balance out around here, but if we look at the graph the temperature does rebound a little bit when it gets close to the sun, but it doesn't rebound nearly enough because now the, now the norm is just it being in the negatives. 
and you'll see it goes it goes lower on the next cycle and it's gonna go lower on the next cycle man we really need a global warming <laughs> I I had to say it Qu quickly get get start like burning all the oil we got to do it <laughs> wow that is some dramatic dramatic temperature swings um, honestly we might find a way to survive the swings in the absolute cold by digging down deep but the absolute worst part of this is going to be that there's no way we're going to be able to successfully grow crops in this environment that's your death sentence it's gonna be starvation if anything and there's also the fact that the earth is now going through a very busy area lots of asteroids lots of different small minor uh, objects I, I feel like earth is earth is now very likely to get hit by an asteroid at the same time although an asteroid may actually give it the warmth it needs not actually it's more like a death sentence yeah look at that but there's like majority frozen now we all have to hunker down in bunkers and, and cry don't worry, I've been practicing my crying. It's called studying for exams. <laughs> okay, well. I think I think that is very interesting. We we have learned that in the case of this terrible, terrible future, uh, we're probably going to be killed by the cold, just being flung away from the sun. Now, if it was towards the sun, it's better, but still gonna die. Um, and I don't really see a need to do a bigger black hole because even a really small one kinda KO, honestly. So, good job, Earth. We all love you. Let's get a good thumbnail moment here, though, because channel dying need need good thumbnails according to the big YouTube man here we go there's I just need a visible black hole here okay you know what you want to spawn somewhere a little bit better you see I'm completely transparent I'm, I'm showing you guys how I make my thumbnails ready boom Okay, that's a little bit intense. We'll just we'll just scale this one up a bit. Nice. And we'll let this eat earth as well for edit effect afterwards. Oh, beautiful. Oh, that lo that looks great. Absolutely stunning. And we can actually change the background as well to look Oh, okay, that wasn't very good. Maybe, maybe we'll just... Honestly, that makes it really hard to see the black hole. Hmm. I, too, want to be turned into that. Fantastic. Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. We are now a donut. Duncan, going, not global, going interstellar. Beautiful.